Today, we're going to have an activity on potential and kinetic energy by making a paper windmill. In this activity, we're going to need tape, ruler, stick, scissor, pencil, pin, and paper. Start with a square piece of paper. Fold your square from corner to corner, then unfold. Make a pencil mark about one third from the center. Cut along fold lines. Stop at your pencil mark. Bring every other point to the center and secure them with tape. Stick the pin through all four points. Attach the pin to the pencil or piece of stick. This is an example of potential energy or energy at rest. As you can see, right now, the paper windmill I'm holding is not moving. The energy stored in it is called potential energy. As we have all learned, potential energy is energy stored or energy at rest. Now, I'm going to turn on the fan. See, the windmill is turning. This is kinetic energy or energy in motion. This activity demonstrates the two forms of mechanical energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. Any object has potential energy in it, waiting to be released, like this paper windmill. That's why it's called potential energy. When the wind from the fan turned the paper windmill around, the energy stored in it was released, causing it to move. That is called kinetic energy or energy in motion. If your paper windmill is a wind turbine, the spinning of it will turn the generator and the kinetic energy makes electricity. Wind turbine is considered one of the most affordable renewable source of energy. And that's how potential turns into kinetic.